the moon. <laughs> no, I like brutally honest holiday cocktail reviews. Yeah. This is hilarious. <clears throat> so, Mike, how did we do this one? Right. Seriously. <laughs> Welcome back to another Thursday upload from your boys at the Buffalo Happy Hour. Today, we have the top five unique cocktails for the holiday season. So we wanted to put this list together. It's tough to come up with good holiday cocktail ideas, especially trying to stay away from some of the traditional like old fashions, Manhattans, and there's some cool variations of those that incorporate some of the Christmas flavors and the holiday flavors. So that's what we want to talk to you about today. If you missed any of the other Thursday episodes, we also released a top five bourbons under $50. And then we also did a, what was our second one? Discussion on Proof Point. There you go. So we'll start with number five. The Stone Fence. So the Stone Fence is actually very easy to make. I know that because we made all these. <laughs> And um, wait until you see this footage because it is going to look like how it looks like when you make one because we're amateurs. Yeah, we're not mixologists. All we do is we like bourbon and we're like, we should try our hand at making some cocktails, which didn't turn out very good. It was a disaster. But the flavors are there, hopefully. So we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, hopefully the products (laughs) we use did their job because we probably did not do ours. (laughs) Correct. So the ingredients for this cocktail, the stone fence are two ounces of rye bourbon. Uh, You can also use rum or brandy. We didn't do that. Uh, Oh, it's a comma. Yeah. So this is what happens when we do this early in the morning. (laughs) So on a weekend, mind you, Um, responsibly. Two ounces of rye or bourbon or rum or brandy. Take your pick. One dash of Angostura bitters. Nailed it. Apple cider to top, and then you garnish with one mint sprig, which we don't have, so we're just going straight liquid. <laughs> and we're living <laughs> our best lives. So, yeah, also this is too, really easy. So, you guys should know we recorded and made all these cocktails all at once, so some of them may not look like they have ice in them because they were sitting out for a little bit. <laughs> Dude, I love this so much. Okay, so um, the steps to make this cocktail is you add the spirit of your choice. We ended up going with St. Lawrence Rye Knot, uh, which is a rye whiskey, obviously. So we did that, and then we basically put the bitters in, then the ice, and then we topped it with the apple cider, gave it a quick stir, skipped the garnish, and now we're going to try it. And uh, I know that he's clean, he knows that I'm clean, and we basically see each other seven days a week, so cheers. Let's take a, a little whirl of this. Who's going to drink all these? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Hopefully they taste good. I washed my hands last week, so we should be good. <laughs> I think I showered sometime this month. Okay, I really like that. Have you ever had a cocktail with apple cider in it? Yeah, once. I want more rye in this. Yeah. I want like another ounce of rye in this. But otherwise, but it's actually really good. I am not so debating. <laughs> so yes. Uh, so this cocktail you're supposed to make it in a Collins glass, which is what we have here. Kind of, it's Jack Daniel's version of a Collins glass. But you put the rye in, and then you top it with apple cider vinegar. So depending on how tall your Collins glass is, is going to depending on how much, or it's going to result in how much apple cider you're putting in to top it. Um, obviously, try it yourself. Make it and add whatever. Um, like whiskey or anything else more if you want more of that whiskey flavor but this i don't taste any whiskey in this even though it's what two ounces ounce yeah and a half yeah no it's two ounces so we're doing good things but uh yeah i mean i like this a lot and i would make this at home it's also very easy so you said apple cider vinegar did i yeah don't it, put apple cider vinegar in this no it's, it's just like apple cider three o'clock in the morning so. uh <laughs> but yeah if you like apple cider not apple cider vinegar. If you like apple cider, you're going to love this cocktail because that's predominantly the taste. All 
All right, so number four, we have a boozy hot chocolate. Now, this is the boozy bougie hot chocolate because we even have it in a Queen City Creative Works mug. Uh, you can't see it right now again because we made these like seven hours ago and we're doing them now, but this uh, color changes from black to white and then it shows our logo, so it's pretty sweet. I'll upload a video of that as well. But uh, this is the boozy hot chocolate. And for this, you're gonna want two ounces of semi-sweet chocolate. So you're going to be making your hot chocolate yourself. We suggest against using the packs. If you are um, hard on time, you can obviously use the packs of hot chocolate. But two ounces of semi-sweet chocolate, finely chopped, six ounces of milk heated, and then you're going to be using one and a half ounces of spirit of your choice. I believe for this one, again, we use three quart blended bourbon. So we talk a lot about how three quart blended product is amazing for making cocktails. It's a very versatile product, so we do recommend that. Um, and then you're gonna garnish with some mini marshmallows, which we have here as well. I'm excited to try this one because one, I like hot cocktails, like warm cocktails. Have you ever had a um, hot toddy? Yeah. Those things are fantastic. So hot cocktails just kind of add another twist to it. And uh, we did reheat this before we're drinking it now. So this should be a really interesting cocktail. Oh, you were like real quiet and elegant about it. I was waiting for that little slurp. Is it good? Is it proportioned okay? Yeah. More chocolate. No, it's good. More whiskey. You would? Yeah. I'm would. actually okay with that. Really? Yeah. It, it honestly reminds me of like a, an Irish coffee. Yeah. So, you know what we could have done is take a flamethrower and like toast the marshmallows a little on top and then I just... I don't have a flamethrower. I, I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> if you at home have a flamethrower, feel free to use it. Absolutely. Res responsibly. <laughs> <laughs> Start going nuts. It would have been a nice touch, just yeah. kind of toast. This is the top. good though. It is. It's a nice. It's a nice ratio, honestly. It's like these people that make these recipes know what's going on. I feel like this is something that's very inexpensive. Um, you can go as extra about it if you want, or you can be quick, be simple, use hot chocolate packets, and then just add some booze and enjoy yourself. Yeah. So these, all these cocktails that we go over today are meant to be like bulk made for you to host a holiday party that's really what we thought of when we made these because these are cool conversation starters they're not your typical cocktail again and it's something that everybody can enjoy because who doesn't want hot chocolate and who doesn't want booze in their hot chocolate i'm with you right yeah absolutely love it number three the kentucky buck this one is actually hard to find nowadays because one ingredient apparently everybody likes to mix something else with it um so this includes cranberry juice good luck finding 100 percent normal cranberry juice because i don't know everybody came into a grocery store and said i want cranberry cherry no i want cranberry apple juice like whatever so finally was able to hunt down some 100 percent cranberry juice for this cocktail this one's also easy it's very elegant it's a wonderful color and the garnish is nice uh, it's two ounces of bourbon of your choice. One ounce of lemon juice. One ounce of simple syrup or ginger syrup. Two ounces of cranberry juice. Two ounces of club soda. And then fresh cranberries for garnish. And this one, I think, is the best looking one out of all the cocktails. 100%. And I don't know why, but it came out really good. Again, we're not professionals here. So we'll try this one out, and then we'll review it. Why not? It's like we do this for a living or something. Ooh. Go ahead. Go on. It's got a tart to it. Oh my god, that is good. It's got that cranberry tart that just punches you right in the mouth. The cranberry and the lemon juice. This is fantastic. Yeah, it is. I like that a lot. It's really refreshing. Dude, this might be my new go-to for like holiday parties. I'm not even kidding you. This is very good. It's for me, it's a tie between this and the apple cider. Yeah. This is fantastic. It, it is. It really get it's a little sour, so if you don't like a ton of sour, try cutting it with um 
more bourbon. Yeah, either more bourbon or <laughs> bring down the lemon juice content or doesn't wrapping the rim in salt or sugar take down the sourness and kind of turns it sweeter? Is that more for bitterness though? Um, either way, I'm down for yeah. sugar rimmed anything. Right. So let's do it. So if you do want some of that to take down the tart level because this is pretty sour, yeah. um, I suggest doing that. But overall, this is amazing. Yeah, it's a really nice cocktail. And it looks cool. I mean, looking at some of these other ones we made, they didn't turn out just like the pictures, but <laughs> this one did. I mean, this one was pretty cool. Oh, you don't say, Derek. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Goodness. Just hire us now. We'll make your cocktails. This is, we're only going to do this one though, so. Yeah, the only thing we request is a massive bundle of paper towels Great. because there's going to be fluids all over whatever surface we're working on. Uh, it was a good time. All right. Uh, this one is very good. So we did rate these in an order from five to number one. Obviously, this is the top five. These can be in any any order that you want, depending on obviously your flavor preferences, because these are very different cocktails, all of them. Um, so we're throwing them out there. Just historically speaking, what Mike and I like, this is the order that we put them in, but we might change that order after this. Derek's already saying that he wants this to be number one. Kind of. It's fine. We'll talk about it. Moving on. Okay, number right. two. Number two, we have the uh, Cranberry Old Fashioned. Now, in the instructions, it told you <laughs> to use a full orange slice, which is what we did. Do you need a full orange slice? I don't know. <laughs> I was tempted to use the remaining eight, like, eight parts of the orange and just put that in the drink because <laughs> a full orange slice is quite a bit. It's a massive garnish, <laughs> but it is okay, people. So the ingredients for this is obviously a full orange slice, so cut it to what you want it to be. Uh, three to five cranberries, sugar, two ounces of rye whiskey, two dashes of Angostura bitters, and then one ounce of cranberry simple syrup. So again, this one you're going to want to rim the glass with sugar if you are feeling that extra bouginess. Uh, add ice ball to the glass. Crush, do not model the cherries in a mixing glass. The cranberries. Um, or yeah, the cranberries. You can use a muddler to crush them. Just don't muddle the cranberries. There's a difference. Uh, add rye and simple syrup and then you add ice. You're going to top with bitters and then stir until chilled. Strain into a glass rimmed with sugar. Garnish with the entire orange if you want. <laughs> and then more cranberries if you so desire. Well, let's try this and All then right. we'll figure out if we screwed it up or not. Which and then just I gnaw on the know. orange. <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I like pulp in my cocktails. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, it tastes like an old fashioned. <laughs> Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, nice job. I like that. Yeah, we're getting after it. <laughs> we're getting after it. We're figuring this whole thing out. Follow directions. That's <laughs> that's basically all it if is. If you like an old fashioned, this is a twist on a regular old fashioned. You're going to be using cranberry juice, or I'm sorry, what is it? Crushed muddled crushed cranberries. Nailed it. You're going to be using that in your old fashioned instead of whatever else you would want. You're going to be using cranberry simple syrup, which again is going to add that extra holiday note that you would associate with a holiday cocktail. Mm -hmm. So it's a good twist on an old fashioned if you are a pretty traditional person. So definitely recommend this. This was very, very good. Yeah, it's a good one. So let's dive into number one. Number one, the cinnamon maple whiskey sour. This was actually really fun to make. I was surprised. Um, thankfully, the instruments that we were using to prepare these wonderful cocktails had markings that I was able to read <laughs> and it matched what we actually were provided. Yeah. So that's fun. Uh, this one is one and a half ounces of bourbon of your choice. One ounce of fresh lemon juice. Two to four teaspoons of maple syrup. and then a pinch of ground cinnamon. Mm. 
So we threw all that in um, into a shaker and then filled it about two thirds of the way with ice and then shook it, strained it into a glass over ice and it turned out really well and it's super easy to make. Yeah. So now we uh, will review thy number one cocktail. Oh yeah. All right. I like maple. It's a sweet flavor to me. And then you're adding the cinnamon to it too. This this is the number one when we were thinking about the list because a cinnamon maple whiskey sour sounds amazing. It sounds holiday. Yeah. So I like this one a lot. I like the sour notes to it. Oh my God. Right? Yeah, that one's really good. It is good. Okay, maybe we do keep that one number one. <laughs> That's very good. The so, lemon sour note and then that secondary maple syrup note yeah. is fantastic. And then it's it that finishes sweet, with sour cinnamon. taste to it. Oh yeah. my God, it's great. Then it finishes with the cinnamon. This is a really nice cocktail. Of course, be smart. Well, everybody, thank you so much for tuning in to today's episode where we give you the five unique cocktails for the holiday season. If you have any cocktail that you would recommend during the holiday season or you have a go-to that we didn't touch on, please leave a comment down below mm -hmm. and let us know if you do try one of these or make any of these for any holiday parties. Tag us in your post. We are at the original Buffalo or the uh, official Buffalo Happy Hour. I was going to go like original Pancake House there for a second. Uh, <laughs> Someone's hungry. Yeah, I got maple on my mind. Uh, we are the official Buffalo Happy Hour on Instagram. Buffalo Happy Hour on Facebook. You can find us on TikTok. You can find us on YouTube. Please subscribe if you are there as well to watch this video. And we appreciate your time today. And hopefully, we're going to just crush the rest of these cocktails, bro. Over a lot of football. Oh, yeah. So, cheers, friends. Thank you. If you're going to try any of these, please remember to drink responsibly. Be a good person. And, Michael. Do not litter. We're out. We're out.